गांधी की राहुल गांधी की surprised mm -hmm. yeah. i i mean you will be surprised but i don't like i don't actually hate mr modi mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i i don't <laughs> like i get up in the morning and okay you know he's got a point of view fine i don't agree with his point of view but i don't hate him mm -hmm. and in fact i in 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 many moments i empathize with him mm -hmm. right so it's not that I think that he's my enemy, and now I hate him, and he's got to be no. He's got a different point of view. I got a different point of view. I have uh, empathy and compassion for what he's doing, uh, and and I think that's a much better place to be mm -hmm. instead of this thing that you know, uh, him versus me. Uh, I don't think that's productive. Of course, Mr. Modi has a central role in it. um but i don't think it's only mr modi um and i also don't think that it started in 2014 the general dynamics the the architecture and the forces that eventually uh, got mr modi are are older they just combined well in 2014 um and i think india has had this fight modern india has had it embedded in it you know the fight uh, for and against the constitution mm -hmm. and that's really the heart of it uh, the idea that all indians should be equal all indians should be valued and treated in the same way versus a hierarchy um and the idea that you know there is a hierarchy in india a caste hierarchy um and that should be defended at all costs so this is this is the conflict and it's not a new conflict i mean if you go back in indian history uh, you can go back 1000 years 2000 years you'll see this conflict and there it's a philosophical battle and then it has its political structures so